We begin tonight with a look at downtown Cleveland businesses getting set for another busy summer weekend days after that mass shooting in the warehouse district. Neil Fisher reports on security at a local business and what police and city officials tonight are saying about their plans. Tonight, businesses on West 6th Street prepare for the weekend rush after last weekend's mass shooting. If people aren't safe, they're not coming down. Safety in the warehouse district is top of mind. At Barley House, managing partner Corey May tells me you'll find an off-duty police officer as well as several guards at the front door. There's not a difference because, I mean, we already run about a team of 12 guys in this place. So every nook and cranny of this place, there's somebody watching and observing. So it's not a matter of needing more security. It's, if anything, we just need more of that police presence on the street. After meeting with city leaders this week, I asked May if they were told there'd be more of a police presence this weekend. That hasn't been promised, um, but it hasn't been denied either. A spokesperson for Cleveland Police told 3 News, quote, we can't get into staffing for tactical reasons, but the plan is to have a full complement of officers in the warehouse district as well as in the neighborhoods, end quote. I think that police presence will be heavier this week. I hope to see that. In the meantime, City Council President Blaine Griffin told 3 News he'd be out in the city this weekend as a show of confidence for your safety. Be visible. Don't give up this city. This is our city. There's more of us that are well-meaning, good people in this city that just want a good quality of life than it is that criminal element. I'm not going anywhere. Um, a lot of the other partners and business owners on the street feel that same way, and this is it's our neighborhood. Business owners here on West 6th Street met with Mayor Bibb earlier this week and expressed their interest in having police on both ends of West 6th as opposed to just one side. Tonight, it appears that the city has followed through with that request. Russ. Okay, Neil Fisher in downtown Cleveland. Thank you.